Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. No music this week, no title card. This, this is not a vlog. But you and me, we do need to talk. I'm gonna be brutally honest with you guys. I almost didn't upload a video this week. See, we started this on top of everything else that's been going along 11 weeks ago. I know 11 weeks doesn't sound like much. 11 episodes isn't a ton of episodes, but it is when you think about 11 weekends thinking all weekend long about what is the story, taking the camera, filming the sequences, doing the editing, making sure that we're building on vision, we're building on mission, we're building into you guys the heart and soul of what it is that we're about. And this week, to be brutally honest, I I just didn't have it in me. So for now, I hope you'll forgive me. No fancy graphics, it's just gonna be us. No, 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 no. No words popping up around my head either. It's just going to be us. Without getting into all of the details, this week was great in a lot of ways, and this week was not so great in a lot of ways. You see, like I said, at first I thought, no, 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 I'm not gonna do a video this week, and then I came home and I told that to Kate, and she encouraged me, and she said, no, at least do an update. Let people know why you aren't doing a video. Make it two minutes, and then just be done with it. Then I went downstairs to one of our neighborhood bars and met up with a buddy of mine that I haven't talked to in quite a while, and we got into a long, deep conversation as we tend to do on sweaty summer nights when scotch is involved and he encouraged me and I want to share a little bit of that with you. This could be a 10 minute vlog of me telling you everything that's happened this weekend and everything that's led up to it and why that's built up so much frustration in me but in an effort to keep this short let me give you the 30,000 foot view and I can do that by sharing with you what I shared with my buddy tonight. I told him tonight I'm frustrated with the fact that I have not mastered in my 31 years on this earth any Anything. You see, when we moved to Dallas from San Antonio seven years ago, I was a musician. That was it. Me and Kate came together. We did our whole Dave and Kate thing. We put out a record that I'm really proud of, and I felt like we were just getting in the groove of things. And then my perspective began to shift. I had these opportunities come up with a friend of mine to get into graphic design a little more seriously. I started getting better. I started gaining a little bit more traction. But lo and behold, another opportunity. Me and Kate decided we wanted a new way to let the city experience music. Enter Tacos and Tunes. So in the first few years of my time here in Dallas, I went from being an aspiring musician to then being a, an aspiring graphic designer. And now I'm in event production and management and learning all these other things that I never thought I would be a part of. And now the vlog. 11 weeks ago when I bought this camera from Brian, our creative director, and I began to film, it was a whole other avenue in my life that I began to pursue. How do I put together a coherent narrative story every every week, week in and week out that will encourage people and at the same time communicate some of the heart and the mission of what it is that we're trying to build in this city. And right as I began to start building some of the traction in that area comes this big ambiguous bomb that I dropped three weeks ago and I said, hey, we are building something. I need business investors. I need creatives. I need people who just flat out care about Dallas and want to make it better. And then, and then it hits me. Am I spinning my wheels being a jack of all trades? and a master of none. Something that I think I'm learning about the journey of building anything great was that with every step you take, the stakes are higher. Saying I'm a musician, but now I'm getting into graphic design and it takes time away from my songwriting and it takes time away from our performances, things like that. Yeah, that's something that needs to be managed. But now, here I am, I've put this vlog out called I've Got Soul where I announced all of these intentions that we have. If you haven't seen it, it's linked in the description below. Go watch it so you know what I'm talking about. I put this huge call out to say early adopters, if you want to be a part of something great, now's the time. I've got something for you. But it don't on me? Am I sharing the vision for something that I might not be able to execute because I haven't yet mastered any of the skills necessary for it? There's a saying in the world of business and entrepreneurship that it's better to share action than it is to share intention. And so that is why I had decided I was not going to make a vlog tonight because I didn't want to get on here and share more intention about an action I'm not sure sometimes if I can pull it off. Then, I went for a walk. 
I went down the street to our favorite little neighborhood bar to meet a friend of mine that I haven't really spent time with in a few weeks. And this is a friend who knows me better than I know myself. If you don't have one of those, I highly recommend that you find one. So as we began to talk, I began to share some of my worries and my frustrations about the fact that every step I take along this path, the stakes are getting higher and higher and higher. And more importantly, people are beginning to follow and I'm beginning to worry, wait, 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 wait. Am I leading us in the right direction? Are we building something that's going to make a difference? Or did I get prematurely excited and speak too soon? Did I share intent when I should have been quiet for a while and shared action? Because it was only three weeks ago that I was walking downtown in Dallas by myself with my camera thinking, man, this city has no idea what's in store for it, but we are about to change things. And then today, there's a little voice in the back of my mind going, but are you? Just because you posted a vlog with some exciting music, are you? Just because you pulled off some events, are you? Just because you've had a few meetings where you connected with someone and you two got excited, are you? Or was that all emotion? And my friend looked at me and he said, well, he said a lot of things, each one of them more true than the last. But the one that made me realize I needed to come up here and make this video was this. Sharing intent instead of action is not the same thing as sharing vision. Vision, I've got. See, when you talk about journey, when you talk about how the stakes are raising with every step that you take, experience is nothing without vision. If you can't see where you need to plant your next step, it doesn't matter how much experience you have taking steps somewhere else because who knows what's in front of you. So if nothing else, I'm hoping that this video is helping someone who, like me, three hours ago is thinking, I'm not sure if I can pull this off, and now is realizing, you know what I have? The will to take the next step and the vision to see where I'm going to plant it. With that being said, the only real reason why this is a simple video and not a vlog is because I have asked you guys to reach out to me, and a lot of you have, and it's time for me to prioritize those meetings, sitting down face to face, sharing vision and taking steps together rather than sitting in my room alone in my underwear editing videos that make you want to slide in our DMs. So the self-doubt, the hesitation, the insecurity, all of that garbage, I'm done with it. I quit. If you reached out to me and you haven't gotten an email yet, expect it.